Hi guys, it's Randy from Getting There Green. Amanda is behind the camera today. Hello. We are doing a quick how-to on how to mix concrete to fill a hole. Uh, you might have seen a previous video, how to dig a hole for a post. And uh, so now we're going to show you, since finally we have a couple days that no rain, we're not busy, so not busy. Yeah, right. Look at us now. <laughs> of course we're busy. Anyway, okay, so let's cut the crap. Let's get right to it. What we have here is we have a bag of quickrete. This is a 30 kilograms, kilogram or 66 pound bag of uh, quickrete. What you're going to do before you really start mixing anything with water is you're going to put six inches in the bottom of your hole. Now, you're going to kind of have to do a little guesswork if your hole's deep like ours. Ours is a little over three feet. Um, again, digging your hole will depend on where your frost line, how low your frost line, uh, your, your freeze lines go. So for us, it's three feet. So here we are at three feet. I can see the bottom barely, but I'm going to have to kind of guess six inches in the bottom. All right, so take right from the bag, dry right in the hole. Gonna have to let things settle before I can tell how much is in there. It's a lot of concrete dust. So you do want to be careful not to breathe too much of that. Okay, when you put your place your post. You do want to make sure that you're level, so you're going to need yourself a level measure on your on two different opposing sides. If you want to go, make sure, just go all the way around, make sure you're level. Um, this is perfectly level now, so next step is to mix your concrete, get that rolling, and we'll show you that in the next uh, step of the video here. Just a note. With most posts that you're putting in the ground, you're going to need to brace it to keep it level. This is going to stay pretty sturdy anyway. Yeah, in this but case here, I had a bit of soft ground on the bottom of the hole, which I just shoved the, hole, the post down to give it uh, a solid base so we don't have to worry about it flopping around. Um, some of the other uh, applications, like if you're doing a fence post, you may want to just get a little brace, a piece of wood, nail the post, get a... Get a peg put in the ground, nail that to the, to the your post to the peg so it stays stationary. Okay guys, so here we are on the second step. What we've done, first step is we filled six inches of dry concrete, uh, quickrete into the hole where your post is. Now second step is we're about to add water to one bag of quickrete. Now we told you the measurements or how big the bags were. Uh, last part of the video here. So second part is we've actually got measured out. We need to use a total of three bags. So we have uh, two bags worth of uh, measurement here, but we're going to mix one bag right here. So we're going to use half this water with what we've just put into the wheelbarrow. Okay, so I'm going to add the water and then mix it up. Okay, I think we're almost there, a little bit more. If you have a cement mixer, this may be the time to use it. <laughs> if you don't, you're just using a wheelbarrow like we are. This is how it's got to be done. It's easiest to go one bag at a time, even if you're doing multiple bags worth. Follow the instructions on your bag. The instructions on the hour for a 66 pound bag was 2.6 quarts of water or 2.5 liters. So that's what we're mixing right now. But make sure you read all of the instructions on your bag of quickcrete. 
because it does vary from bag to bag. Different applications for different bags. For some yeah. quick set, for some uh, more dense. There's decorative, there's all kinds of different concrete that you can get. This it's is a post hole bag specifically. So make sure you uh, read what the application is. If you, for whatever reason, want colored concrete, this is the time you would add in the coloring as well. Kind of silly for a post hole though. I like a blue post hole, Mom. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, this is pretty well mixed, but it's not really a great consistency. It does need to be a little bit more watery than this, so uh, according to the instructions which we are reading and showing you here, uh, it does allow you to add up to 3.7 quarts, but not above that. So there is a little bit of leeway. Now we're going to add some water to this to get the consistency that we want. We do want it to be a little runny, but not too much. So I'm gonna add some, and I'm gonna mix, and then if I need more, then I'll add more. Okay guys, so that little bit that we added earlier um, is all that we really needed, the extra. So now this is what we would call, it's firm, but yet still workable. So firm enough that if you went like that, it kinda still keeps the shape. Of the, of the shovel, you can kind of see it mounds up. It's not running all over and leveling. It's still workable, but it is firm. So this is the consistency that you want. All right, so if you were to make a sand castle, you'd make a sand castle, but it'd look like a lump. Still keep the shape of your bucket. That's kind of the consistency that you want. It shouldn't be so dry that it looks compact in a perfect shape, okay? So still needs to be, tell it's consistency there. It's leaving that line, it's not filling it in, but still it's easy to go and work it. That's what you want. Okay, so we're going to start shoveling this into the hole. And it's pretty easy. Get yourself a nice solid shovel. And let's go right into your hole. Good. Go. Okay guys, so we are in the middle of mixing the uh, second bag and uh, just one little word of advice, a warning, is when you are mixing concrete, be careful not to get any on your skin. Um, concrete, uh, a lot of times you get it on your skin you don't realize it, can be corrosive and can burn your skin. So. Depending on the type that you get, be careful. There are some that are corrosive. Okay, okay guys, so we have officially filled our hole. Uh, surprisingly, it was only two bags. I would have thought we needed three for this application. It was only two. So, we saved some money. <laughs> So what we're doing now is I'm going to, now that it's, the hole is full, I'm going to double check, make sure that we're still level, which this side we are, this side we are, all right, I'm going to check as many sides as you can, you know, you want to be as square as possible. So this is very square, this is perfect. So uh, the one thing that you want to really keep in mind is how long it takes for your concrete to cure. Uh, the concrete that we're using takes 24 hours before it's completely cured. So we're going to leave this for 24 hours and then it should be cured enough. But what we're going to do is after 24 hours we're going to take a bag and put it over top of this. And it actually helps cure it even better after that. So that's what we're going to do. Now for some types of concrete they are quick set and uh, it, it's like quick dry and it takes 30 minutes, sometimes quicker. So, uh, you know, check your bag, check your uh, directions, but uh, that's as easy as it is. Uh, mix your concrete up, you know, make sure you've got your six inches in the bottom. With this particular type, 
and you're good to go. So uh, that's how you use concrete to fill in a post hole. Uh, this is a post that we're using for this um, uh, laundry <laughs> laundry <laughs> dryer line. hanger thingy. Closed line. <laughs> Um, yeah. How do you really describe the square ones that go up like an umbrella? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, our clothesline yeah. is going to be going into this. And uh, we'll be cutting this off. We're drilling a couple holes through here. The cotter pins right through so it stays. And uh, and that should, be, that should do perfect. Now, if you're doing a fence hole, again, this is the concrete you want to use. And uh, make sure when you're doing fence holes that you're bracing your posts when you're putting them in. So... Uh, that's how you do it. Any questions, comments, feel free to leave them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if this was informative to you. Show the support and let us know that you uh, were able to use this and helped you out. Uh, check out some of our other videos which we have. There are a few other how-tos. Uh, we do cover a wide variety of topics. We are trying to focus on self-sustainability and gardening, uh, healthy eating, healthy lifestyle, getting out there roughing and camping, things like that. So we we want to bring you along on some of these things, and uh, this is just one how-to that we were able to do ourselves very inexpensively, and uh, again, check us out also on our website, www.gettingtheirgreen.com, and uh, we also have Facebook, which is, uh, of course, facebook.com slash gettingtheirgreen. Uh, like us on there. Uh, we have Google Plus and Twitter. Now, we do would, would prefer you to go on to Facebook, because that's where we most of our uh, communication, I would say. We do comment on our videos here on YouTube very regularly, but we have a lot more interaction on Facebook, um, you know, you, with, with the system that you have there. But anyway, check us out, and thanks for viewing our videos, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm Randy with Getting There Green, and we'll see you later.